Yes, good afternoon. It's the end of June 2019. This is Eric Orr from New Hampshire Fish and Wildlife. We're looking at Newfound Lake in Bristol, New Hampshire. A lake I've come to know some years ago. You know, 1977, January and February, not like today where the water is warm and inviting. It was the winter time that I first began to learn Newfound Lake as a fisheries bio aid for the New Hampshire Fish and Game Department. So my job up here was to come up and check the ice fishermen on Newfound Lake in the middle of the winter. We were, mar we were marking lake trout that were raised in the hatchery a special way. So if you caught a lake trout, it could be identified as, as coming through the hatchery. And the, my job was to check the lake trout that the fishermen were catching to see if they had the special mark or if in fact the lake trout that fishermen were catching were naturally born here on the lake themselves, so there would be uh, no need to continue raising lake trout in the hatches. So I would come up uh, two or three days each, each uh, week in the winter time here to Newfound Lake. And you know, days that it was cold and near zero with the wind blowing, and I would take my binoculars out and drive around the lake to the biggest parts of the lake and, and look to see who was out there fishing. And lo and behold, way in the middle of the lake, even on the coldest, snowiest, windiest, windiest parts of the day, would be a black dot way out in the middle of the lake. So I would unload my motor ski snow machine and, and drive out to the middle of the lake to check this older fella. He had a bare skin coat that he completely enshrouded himself and sat on a bucket and, and fished way in the middle of the lake on these coldest of winter days. And I, as I recall, he was in his 80s. So this older gentleman, no matter the weather, would trudge out in the middle of the lake, no matter the depth of the snow, and ice fish. So it warms my heart on a day like today. But still, thinking back on the days here on Newfound Lake in Bristol, New Hampshire, where I checked the fella with a bearskin coat.